discovery, delivery, display, and monetization of entertainment. That's what our next guest does. We're about to find out what that is all about. He is, in fact, the Global Strategic Account Director for Rovi, Charles Dawes. Charles, welcome into tomorrow. Thank you, Dave. Glad to have you with us. A uh, lot of things that your company is involved in, uh, unlike a lot of other companies, that you don't have like physical product to show, so we're not holding things up at the camera to say, look, check this out. <clears throat> but a lot of buzz about HEVC, or high efficiency video coding. What does that mean, and what does it mean to us as consumers, and, and how it, it, it plays an important role? Yeah, sure, Dave. What you'll see and you'll hear around the show is there's a lot of buzz, both about what we call HEVC, um, but also about 4K, and so we'll just talk a little bit about sure, that. The ultra high definition the TVs, ultra high definition. a lot of them being introduced <laughs> again <laughs> here now. Incredible number when you, yeah. when you walk around and see them. Um, and so as we, as we start to see moving towards what's really the next generation of video encoding, mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we start to need to move toward new codecs. So HEVC is a new, a new video standard that was uh, ratified in January this year. Uh, and it's the next step on from what's been common in the industry of H.264. So consumers may well have heard that talked about. Um, they may not have done, but they, they may well have done. Um, and what it does is it really promises to deliver um, a much better, much more efficient way of encoding video. And what's that mean to a consumer? Well, it means that they can stream content at a much lower bit rate. Ah. Um, they'll be able to take content um, and store it uh, in a much more compressed format, but without losing any quality. Good, because um, storage is always an issue for everything, especially our video content, all kinds of media. And if we can compress it more and still see it the best way it should be seen, it's a win-win. Yeah, absolutely. And also, on the, on, for instance, just on the streaming side of things, so you can take content, and HEVC will basically give you up to 50% saving on the bandwidth. So as wow. a, when you take a streaming piece of streaming content, um, you can take that and you can stream, for instance, a 720p stream to a mobile phone mm -hmm. much more efficiently so you can go over existing networks. Now, you're doing a lot of work as well with a, a, a term that I think more of us consumers might be more familiar with over the years, DivX and DivX 10. What, what are you guys doing with that? Yeah, so absolutely. So DivX is one of Rovi's brand names and part of our consumer-facing proposition. And uh, as it, your consumers will be, and your, your listeners will be aware, um, DivX has been around for a, 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 a while now um, and has been traditionally known as a very high quality uh, format sure. for both video and also um, delivery of video. And uh, so we've just recently, just at the show, actually launched DivX 10, which is the next version of DivX. And what we've done there is we've really taken a step and, and built HEVC into that so that consumers can actually start to get the benefit. Um, there's always this chicken and egg problem. We're going to yes. see devices of it, or we're going to see the content. Where's the content come from? Where's the devices come from? Who's going to make the first move? Sure. In fact, the whole Ultra HD thing and 4K, it's more frequently being referred to here, is the same issue we had when high-def TVs first came out, is content. You know, the chicken and the egg again. You yep. know, you've got the TVs, great, and there was two programs a week you could watch in high-def. Uh, that's changed dramatically, at least in the U.S. and, and around, it the, has around the world. It has around the world, yeah. yeah. Uh, but now we have the same issue with the 4K, the Ultra HD TV. TVs, very little content available to us consumers. So great, you get a new TV that cost you a fortune, not enough content now. So this now can play a role in providing so, some so of that content? So we content? really see, because as part of what Revy does, we work complete across the ecosystem. So we help people actually create content, both professional content creators um, and consumers, right the way through to the, the playback of content and the delivery of content in the, min, in the middle. Nice. And really with DivX and, and DivX 10, giving the consumer the ability to take their content, to be able to very simply drag and drop it through the DivX converter, um, or use the DivX player or the DivX media player, uh, media streamer to stream content around the home, mm -hmm. um, means that they can start to actually create content and have a build up that library of content using HEVC, which in turn will feed the whole ecosystem. So and and I'm, I'm hearing that the DivX Plus streaming is, is really a game changer in this industry for us consumers. Yeah, it's no. going to make a, a big difference. Yeah, absolutely. And so one of the things that uh, over the last few years, we've had this rush towards streaming. And in that rush, we've lost a lot of the features that were available in the physical world. So if you take a Blu-ray disc, um, and you look at, compare that to a streaming experience, there's pieces that are missing. And we said, why should consumers miss out on those? Yeah. We don't want that to happen. So when we, when we started developing DivX Plus Streaming, which is built on top of all of the core DivX, uh, DivX heritage, um, we said, let's build in those features. So things like smooth fast forward rewind, um, very smooth transitions, very fast startup, so that the customer doesn't get the spinning wheel 
they don't have to wait for buffering. Yeah, because at some point you cut, you almost get used to it, but then it's still frustrating. Yeah. And you want it to stream, start, and let me just yeah. enjoy the content. Yeah. Well, we've, we've just done some research with our, our DivX community, and we were seeing 80% of people saying, yes, I love streaming, but then 60% of them are saying, yes, but I've got issues. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> that's why we're trying to improve that and try and get rid of some of those things. And then also, if, if really important things, for, especially for places like the European market, having multiple audio tracks available and, and multiple subtitle tracks available that customers can switch easily between. Um, and also applies for things like being able to have, for instance, one thing that's fairly standard now on, on physical disc is having a director's, com di director's commentary track, being Very able to true. have that in the streaming experience so that nice. you can you can get those features. Sure. Additional options. It's all about helping us as consumers take exactly. advantage of. I exactly. I love it. Charles, you're a delight to talk with. Got to get you back again because these things are changing so rapidly. It's hard for us, let alone consumers in general, I think, to keep up with. So I want to learn more from you. Yeah. More information that you can obtain can easily be obtained when you visit rovicorp.com. It's R-O-V-I corp.com. We'll get you there, too. Hit us up at intotomorrow.com. And thank you for joining us here at IFA. Great. Can I also say that you can go to divx.com and download DivX 10 for free as a consumer and be able to use that to your pleasure. Free is always good, and you absolutely can say that. So thank it's divx.com, D-I-V-X. Absolutely. Dot com, another Rovi product that we are familiar with and have heard a lot about. Take advantage of the new DivX 10. Do just that. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany, and IFA. I'm Dave Graveline. Stay tuned into tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.